Good morning, guys. It's Chris from Food Thoughts of a Chef Wannabe. I wanted to share with you a dollar haul from yesterday. Excuse the I just got out of bed look because I just got out of bed. Clearly, I didn't have time for hair and makeup. Okay, clearly, I just didn't have desire for hair and makeup. It's Saturday morning, but I wanted to share this with you because there are some items in here my husband needs to use. So, yes, you're in the messy craft room, but it's a craft room. So I'm going to stop apologizing for the messy shelves over here. And this is actually a long table that I work on and I do the production of my cauliflowers here. Um, I do my hair and makeup in here. <laughs> so anyway, it is what it is, right? This is real life, people. This is a real life crap room. It's not a crap room. It's a where a lot of crap happens room. So, first, my twin grandchildren are going to be three on Christmas Day. And so, they usually have their party a little early, and I... Usually, <laughs> usually I either go heavy on the birthday or heavy on Christmas. This year, they're probably going to get heavier on Christmas. I picked them up. They love Minions. I picked them up two um, smaller than normal Minion lunch boxes at the Target dollar spot. And they love fruit snacks right now. And they just, they're very into snacks that are fun and all of that. So, um, at the Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of these Angry Bird fruit snacks. And that'll be some of the fruit snacks I fill each of their pails with. And then they'll probably get a gift card to like an indoor playground together. But they'll each have their individual little lunch box. I'm going to leave the stuff my husband picked out for the end. Because let me just tell you about my husband at the Dollar Tree. Ridiculous. I also try to pick up... I start Christmas shopping, like, right when Christmas is over last year. So, um, I try to pick up, you know, stocking stuffers and things like that as the year goes by. So, it's not like December 1st, oh crap, I've got, you know, all this Christmas shopping to do. So, um, my kids have a, like, a movie style, movie theater style popcorn popper. So, I grabbed these to stick in a stocking. They're so fun, and it, what a fun movie night, and it feels like you're really at the movies. And the way my son makes popcorn, it tastes like you're really at the movies. I had one of these and recently just did a closet purge, and mine broke. So, who can live without a scarf holder? Not me. I mean, I suppose you can, but I can't. I mean, I suppose I could, but I'm not going to. Also, I found this... Now, I know that you know all the large companies that carry these adjustable teaspoons. And this one seems pretty legit. So, it was only a dollar, and for a dollar I'll try it, and then if it works, yay for me. If it doesn't work, I want my dollar back. No, I'm kidding. But I just wanted to give it a try. Uh, with my vision issues, the black writing is very easy for me to read. This, I know, is on the list of like the worst possible things you can put in your body, like other than cyanide and bleach. All right, I am back. So, microfiber dishcloth, or it's not a dishcloth, it's like a kitchen towel. Uh, my daughter-in-law has this little business she runs, and I think one of these will work for something that she does, so... I thought I'd pick one up and give it to her to play with. I also got, <laughs> our kids are gonna love us for these stocking stuffers for the grand Star Wars and Dory, of course. I do for them one big huge stocking and then I just fill it and then the singletons, the oldest and the youngest just get their own. Another stocking stuffer I love now, I am all about nice, good brushes, let me tell you. 
But these little blending brushes from Wet n Wild, they're really good. I have a couple. I really like them. So anyway, I picked one of these up for a stocking stuffer as well. What did my husband buy? Seriously? Like, who buys this at the Dollar Tree? Like, I can't, I don't understand. I don't want to understand it. Um, cutest little sunglasses socks ever. Let me tell you about stuffer. these little things. Stocking stuffers. These washcloths. I'm sure I'm sure they have something horrible in them. I have no idea. I really, I, I don't care. When you open up my bathroom closet, you would find beach towels, random funky towels, and these washcloths. Because unlike really like refined people, I guess, I don't like thick plush washcloths. What I like is thin sandpaper like washcloths that feel like they're exfoliating without being exfoliators. I just do. I love them. And yeah, no, no plushy washy for me. Anyway, those are stocking stuffers. It's clearly, I want my grandkids to also be exfoliated. This is also a stocking stuffer Dollar Tree. And I know it's plastic. Like I have one and it's metal. Oh, wait. Is it plastic or metal? It's plastic. But really, it squeezes a lime, an orange, a lemon. My son loves to cook. That'll be a great stocking stuffer. My finicky princess, Sophia. She is, I've stopped making her food because she's even picky about that. And quite frankly, the more expensive or the more wholesome food that we bought for her, the less of it she would eat. So we tried Caesars one time and she loves it, so we went with it. But I think the little containers are not quite enough for her because she refuses to eat her dry food. Anyway, that's a whole, that's a whole other little, um, my dog's a spoiled rotten little brat who parents will never stop spoiling her so they deserve everything they get video. This is I'm's Wolf Delights. It's a little bit of a bigger container. It is, I really can't see the ounces. Um, but they had these at my Dollar Tree and you know, this stuff is kind of hit and miss, but I thought I would try a couple because I think she might eat the whole thing now. <sighs> really, who knows? Everything's a crapshoot with this dog. I also, <laughs> Real close. Tootsie Pops, Tootsie Pops, Tootsie Pops. Because why get your grandchildren a piece of candy and you can get them each an entire bag? And they love lollipops. So, oh, this is definitely a Dollar Tree staple for me. Batteries. Batteries. I always get their al their Sunbeam alkaline batteries. Fabulous. Use them in my camera. Use them in another camera. Use them for everything. My mouse. So, last but not least is what my husband got at the Dollar Tree. Now, when my husband goes to the Dollar Tree, you would think that he was a survivalist and he was headed out for like, he was just going to like go off the grid and he needed some survival stuff. Seriously, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't even ask anymore. But I see a couple of things that he got. Well, he picks up these. These placards are one of our Dollar Tree staples. We have to have those. What did we do before we had these? Oh, yeah. We used real floss. And don't you know, if we were out in the wild, we could use this as a tourniquet. Yeah. He went there. Super glue, I don't know if he's gonna like try to super glue my mouth shut, if he's gonna try to, I don't know. But he got this super glue and this super glue, which is kind of genius. It's these single use ones. And why have I, why have I never, I've never seen these. That'll be awesome. This um, non-woven laundry bag, 
I don't know what his intent is. I think he said something like, I can put this stuff in my bag, in that bag, and then put it in the big bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my adorable husband. So, sorry. it's tooth whitening stuff. A tooth whitening pen and a tooth whitening system from the Dollar Tree. So, as I told him, when he causes himself hundreds or thousands of dollars of dental damage, um, I'm not going to feel sorry for him. Not one bit. And if it works really, really fantastic, I'll tell you that too. Because he is vain. Oh my god, this stuff expired. Oh no, it didn't. 2018. See, he doesn't look at these. Only women think of sensible things like that. So, this is... It. He bought these at the Dollar Tree. I, I, you know, I I am not a privileged person, but there are certain things I'm just not feeling like you should purchase at the Dollar Tree. And stuff that's probably going to eat your teeth away. Yeah, it's one. Anyway, thank you for joining me. My camera's crooked. Hello. Now you're straight at the end of the video. Did you feel like you needed a V8? Anyway, you guys, it's Saturday morning. Have a great weekend, and remember, as always, to eat good food.